For many years, singers and songwriters have come together to draw the world's attention to famine and poverty in Africa. The famous 1985 song, We Are The World, was a number one hit, but it also contributed to a debate about the role of celebrity humanitarians and whether the money they raised reached those who needed it most. Peter Kessler of the United Nations High Commission for Refugees says so-called celebrity diplomats help to humanise an issue and to reach people when political campaigns often fail to. As we saw with Princess Diana when she first held the hand of, a, of an AIDS victim, you know, it's spreading that message that these people are safe, they're not a threat, they're threatened. And you also can reach out to them in your way. You don't have to be a VIP celebrity. We face a convergence of crises. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio's cause of choice is climate change. His documentary, The Eleventh Hour, gave him what he says he was searching for, the opportunity to gain a sense of purpose. You know, for me, watching the sort of cultural understanding of the issue now is in itself encouraging. Baroness Carolyn Cox, a member of the House of Lords, is one of Britain's prominent humanitarians. She has spent decades travelling to raise awareness of the poor and oppressed in countries like Burma, Uganda and East Timor. She says she is accountable for every cent of her charity's $650,000 budget, but questions some of the other efforts. I would just like a little bit more knowledge, transparency, accountability as to where a lot of that money goes and what proportion really gets down to the dying child. I know with our little organisation what a huge difference we can make with a little bit of money. I'd like to know where the big budgets go. Actor Ben Affleck put together a campaign film for the UN about the refugee crisis in the Democratic Republic of Congo late last year. He persuaded the Rolling Stones to donate the rights to the song Gimme Shelter. And actress Mia Farrow has become a career celebrity diplomat. She has visited Sudan's refugee camps many times and told VOA in 2007 the situation there was desperate. I think there are uh, cauldrons of, of misery, frustration, rage, rampant disease. <laughs> Farrow successfully lobbied film director Steven Spielberg to quit the job of artistic director at the Beijing Olympics. She claimed China was funding Sudan's civil war in exchange for oil. I think when the celebrities become engaged in areas of great need, it has one great advantage. It does put that need and those people on the agenda of international concern, it raises awareness. That is good. Almost a quarter of a century after the song We Are The World, many celebrities are still working to help the needy. In a world where the UN Children's Fund UNICEF says poverty still causes the deaths of up to 30,000 children each day. Rachel Smalley, VOA News, London.